But one of the real rugby league stories of the week has been Mitchell Pearce. I've always thought this young man can play, but it's always difficult to emerge out of the shadows of a famous father, Wayne, a decorated Balmain Tiger. Look, on a sad rugby league note, we farewell today one of the Balmain greats, a loyal Tiger and wonderful administrator, George Stone, who died at the age of 90. George was the man who appointed me to coach Balmain. I was honoured today to be able to tell an overflowing congregation of the unshakable integrity and decency of George Stone. Well, Mitchell's father, Wayne, was one of the representative players from that era. And now Mitchell has played his 300th first grade game last Sunday. It's an astonishing feat and it's exhausting to think of it. And ironically enough, against the Tigers. I just thought I'd have a yarn with him. Mitchell, thank you for joining us. Hey, you make me tired thinking of it. 300 games, hey? Thanks, Alan. Um, mate, it was a really special week, to be honest. The whole whole uh, whole week was really... Uh, I was really grateful for all the support. Um, lots of messages from old teammates um, from the club at Newcastle. They put on a really good week. And then obviously that has the family there to run out. But what about... Uh, what the about... Game. Yeah, what about the thing? Sorry, Mitch, but I mean, you're 31, only young 31. And next Wednesday, you'll be 32. So happy birthday for that. But how Thanks, hard was it following the footsteps of a famous father? Oh, look, mate, I, you don't think too much of it as a kid. It was obviously a privilege to have loving parents. But um, obviously, as I've gotten older, you obviously appreciate more and more what a, a good influence it was to have uh, a dad who shared the same love as. I do, which is football, and uh, I was able to learn a lot of stuff off him. Uh, you went to school, I think, or did you play with Kirtley Beale when you were a junior? And I understand you weren't much good at homework. Homework was about how well you could kick the football. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, my first club was North Ride Hawks in the Balmain comp, and um, Kirtley Beale played played with us for a couple of years there when he, when he went to Joey's. Um, so, yeah, what a player Kirtley was then and has been. He's had a great career, Absolutely. and he's, he's a good... He's a good man. Lovely bloke too. And Andrew Johns, what, gave you a pair of socks and I understand you tried not to wash them. I mean, <laughs> you do these things when you're a kid, don't you? Yeah, I still don't think I've washed them. Um, <laughs> what, were you thinking, what, were you, what were you thinking when you ran on against the Balmain Tigers last weekend? Because you could have been wearing number seven for them. Yeah, it's funny. I played my 150th game against the Tigers when I was at the Roosters and then obviously, yeah, the 300th against the Tigers. So my, there might be something deeper in that. We might get the answers for later in life. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best player you've played against? The best player I've ever played against would uh, have to be Cameron Smith, no doubt. And the best player you've played with? Best player I've played with. I've, got, I've played with so many good players. I'd probably say Sonny Bill Williams, though. He was um, yeah, well, he could very, play, very influential. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And any unfulfilled ambitions? Um, a premiership in Newcastle is obviously the goal. And um, we started two and one. So we're, we're starting to put a really good team together and got the Dragons on Sunday. So uh, as you know, it's a long year. But yeah, premiership in uh, Newcastle would be tick, tick all the boxes. Good on you. You're a good young man, Mitch. I always love seeing you do well. Congratulations. A phenomenal milestone. I'm exhausted thinking of playing 300 games. So good luck and I hope the Premiership comes your way. But lovely to talk. Thank you for your time. Thanks very much, mate. Appreciate it.